Hey, look, I'm glad to be here with Angel Moms and Angel Dads. Uh, I deeply respect Mrs. Scalise and Meadows and Cheney, but I'm not going to be that nice. I don't call a few people out. Senator Menendez this morning says DUI is not a crime. 10,000 people a year die from DUIs, 28 people a day. So if an Ill illegal alien gets arrested with DUI, they shouldn't be regarded as a criminal alien. That is disgusting. And that comes from the man who should be in prison himself. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez wants to abolish ICE. She says ICE doesn't prioritize and they separate families. Nine out of ten of everybody, everybody ICE arrested last year, nine out of ten, to be exact, 87.6 percent, had a criminal history or were pending criminal charges when they were found. That's pretty good prioritization. And you can't say, concentrate on only the criminals, not let us in your sanctuary jails. That's just ridiculous. Concentrate on criminals, but don't come into jail where you can find them. House Appropriations Chairman Roboy Allard the other day said, by cutting ICE's beds, we're going to force them to concentrate on criminals and stop arresting law-abiding immigrants. ICE has never arrested a law-abiding immigrant. ICE arrests people in the country illegally in violation of federal law. They're illegal aliens. When you enter this country illegally, you commit a crime. When you get or when at, at billions of dollars of taxpayers' expense, you get due process, and a federal judge orders you removed, and you don't leave. That is not law-abiding. If the message the Democrats want to continue to send, it's okay to violate the laws of this country. It's okay to enter this country illegally. As long as you don't commit another crime, it's okay, because I shouldn't be looking for you. If that's the message we're going to send to the rest of the world, you're never going to solve the border crisis. It's never going to end. Nancy Pelosi. The other day I was on a show and I was asked about her, and I said I thought she was disgusting. And what she does is disgusting. Let me tell you why. Because the last time I stood at this podium, the angel moms, the angel dads tried to meet with her. She wouldn't meet with them, but she'll meet with the aliens. She says her walls are moral and ineffective, but she has yet to talk to one border patrol agent. President Trump, the greatest president in my generation, because he, he not only does he talk to talk, he walks to walk. Yes. Who's done more in two years than any other president's done in eight when it comes to border security. Amen. Even, even though he's got all this resistance against him, look what he has accomplished. Yes. Yes. And if they wouldn't resist him, if every Republican Democrat would believe that this nation's security and sovereignty meant something, I don't care if you're a Republican or Democrat. What's the downside in securing the border? What's the downside on less illegal immigration that bankrolls criminal organizations that have killed border patrol agents? What's the downside on less drug trafficking in this country? There's no downside in securing our border. It is ridiculous. So I'm here today in support of the men and women that lost their, their, their children to immigrant crime. And I, let me say here today, I'm not saying every illegal, illegal immigrant that comes across that border is a criminal. But I will say this, when they enter the country illegally, they have committed a crime. And all these people are making these fraudulent claims to political asylum. I can't blame anybody for wanting to be part of the greatest country on earth, but their first two actions when they step foot in this country is to commit two crimes. Entry this country illegally and committing immigration fraud. Ninety-one percent of Central American families lose their case when they get to court. Less than two percent have left. That's not respecting this country. So unless we all get together and keep supporting this president and what he's trying to do, this president can fix the border. I'm telling you, for over three decades, I've seen it. They can't, you know, push it down the road, push it down the road, push it down the road. We finally have a president that knows how to fix it because he has been to the border. He has talked to border patrol agents. He calls me and talks to me. He wants to talk to the people who've done the job for three, four decades. What works, what doesn't work? Name another president that's done that. Name, name one Democrat in this building, in Democratic leadership, whether it's Schumer or Pelosi or name one that went down there to talk to him. But they rushed down there to, to, to demand investigation in, in the death of two children that crossed the border illegally and died, which is a tragic, tragic story. But while they're down there demanding investigation, the men and women of the Border Patrol that did everything they could to save those lives, they never asked them what they thought about this country's security and what they needed down there to get the So I'm going to keep fighting. I hope you all keep fighting with us, too, and, and to the angel moms and dads. Let's hope that the, the Democratic leadership actually meets you and hears your story. And maybe they'll understand it's not a manufactured crisis. We're losing this country. Exactly. Yeah. And with the deal that was announced yesterday, I see some, some Republicans saying oh, it's a good deal. That's a terrible deal. Terrible deal. Illegal immigration is going up. 
and they're taking beds down. I don't care how smart you are, that doesn't make sense. Oh, he says 49,000 people in custody, they want to win 42,000. What's that mean? That means releasing 7,000. If you got to average by the end of the year 42,000, if you've been at 49,000 first half of the year, now you got to go 7,000 below, which means you're going to get down 35,000. That's releasing the 14,000 people. Where is that? Where does that make sense to anybody releasing criminal aliens? Because, not because it makes sense, not because I think Democrats are really against it, it's because there's resistance against this president. They don't want to give this president a win on the border. If this is all, this is the politics that is worst. And I won't shut up, and I hope you all continue fighting the fight. With that, I want to make the next introduction because there's a guy I want to introduce you to. His name is Mark Morgan. He was the